Somebody bless his name. Somebody appreciate him for giving me the strength to continue. For giving me the enablement, Daddy. Father, I appreciate your name. Somebody bless his name. Somebody glorify him. Somebody thank him. Thank you, Daddy, for bringing me here this 12 o'clock hour of prayer. Ah, Lord, we bless your name. This is the third hour. Daddy, I appreciate you. Be exalted, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Brethren, sit down for a while. Anytime you pray, anytime you pray, 
and there is no revelation, know that God has not responded. Or that God actually responded, but you did not hear him. Praise the Lord, somebody. Revelations are God's actual answer to your prayers. If you go to our website, you see so many of our bulletins. You find one of them, God's answer, man's answer. It is there. We have also the audio uh, message, God's answer, man's answer. Man, being physical, sees what God brought as answer. He wants a baby. When the wife is pregnant, God has answered. That is not Abraham. Abraham's wife was not pregnant. And God said that he has made Abraham the father of many nations. Genesis chapter 17, if you read from verse 1, God met him and told him, I have made you father of many nations. My covenant is with you. Your name will not be Abraham. Abraham again, it will not be Abraham. Because you are a father of many nations. He never knew that that was what God made him to be. Without revelations, Abraham would not have stayed waiting on God for that long. Revelations strengthen faith. Be mindful of your revelation. Revelation strengthens faith. Faith is the only currency that is recognized in heaven for exchange. Hebrews chapter 11, verse 6. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For whoever will come to him must believe that he is, and then he is a rewarder of they that diligently seek him. So if you don't have something that strengthens your faith, you can't transact with heaven. Let us bow our heads. Consider the revelations you have received so far and begin to bless the name of the Lord for them. So you don't understand. Yes, 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 yes. It is God's language. You may not understand it immediately. Say, ah, ah. I just saw a broom fell down. I don't understand the meaning. Yes, that's God's language. You don't need to understand the meaning immediately. Don't forget we are going on a seven days journey. And when you are in a discussion with somebody seven days, ah, uh ah, -uh, <laughs> Something will come out now. That thing you didn't understand the first day. Time will come for you to be able to ask him questions and he will explain. Father, I thank you for revealing secrets to me. For what has been hidden from the wise and the prudent. You reveal to us babes and sucklings here in Korem that he will give you praise and honor. Be exalted, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Somebody shout, Father, every sin in my life. Ah, is it the first thing that is? This is 12 o'clock. The Lord is your strength. Amen. Somebody shout, Father, every sin in my life that will cut me off from your covenant on this altar. Ah, Father, forgive in the mighty name of Jesus. The sin in my life that will make me not to see you today or you not to see me. Father, forgive, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Have mercy, O Lord. Have mercy, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Brethren, we are talking about negative covenants today. Negative covenants. Now, what are covenants? Covenants are agreements between two parties. Agreements between two parties. That is the commonest kind of agreement. Agreement can come within many people. Am I, am, I, am, I, am I talking to you? Can come within many people. Uh -huh. Or many countries can agree. Like the UN is a body of agreement because they agreed to form it. And there are many countries. Even though you will find people on different posts <laughs> inside it. You understand? But they call themselves united. Praise the Lord. The Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. So, it's an agreement between two parties. The book of Amos chapter 3 verse 3. Amos chapter 3, verse 3, see, can two walk together 
except they be agreed. That's the King James Version. Can two, is it possible for two people or two parties to go on a journey together except they be agreed? Now, the reason why you form covenant is to achieve an end. Covenant is formed or agreements are formed to achieve an end. Let us look at the marriage covenant, for example. Why do we go into marriage? You understand? There are so many reasons why we go into marriage. Some people can have ulterior motive for going into marriage. This, the father of the man is a billionaire. So if I marry him, automatically by marriage I become... You, you understand? <laughs> so, but the guy is seeing love. Am I talking to you? He's seeing love. We'll talk about... <laughs> Types of marriage, the types of agreement, and then ten truths about covenant. Type of covenants and ten truths about covenant. They are very, very deadly. Ten truths. The Lord will bless us. You have noticed it. It is just that you did not see it this way. The Lord will honor his word in our life in Jesus' name. Ah, let me tell you a story. I think I should tell you one story now. One story for six o'clock, maybe two for the VG. Do you like that? Praise the Lord. My friend years ago, had a girlfriend. That girlfriend seemed to love him. Or let me say, from the beginning. You know, I said seemed to love him because I saw the end of that matter. Now, let us start looking from the beginning. The girl loved him. And she always, she looks possessive. She looks at somebody that is jealous, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, she will always come to him and tell him to say, you belong to me. And I belong to you. And the guy will recite it. You understand? He say, nobody can take you from me. The guy will say the same thing. And nobody will take you from me. Nobody can. Nobody will. I don't know whether you understand. Nobody will be able to but for me, nobody will even try it. Now, they went on and on and on and like, like that until the guy began to notice the kind of revelations he was seeing, the kind of things that were going down and down and down in his life. He now went to one pastor, a priest, or what do you call these people in Anglican church, a vicar, or what do you call them? Um, no, the one in the uh, vicar, <laughs> when I went to that man. That man now is a gifted man. That one now told him, ah, your girlfriend is a demonic. He said, you have a girlfriend who is demonic. Now told him that that one had taken all his intestines away. I mean, all his in internal organs away. Heart, kidney, uh, pancreas, everything was gone. You understand? Ah, but the guy was still moving around, eating, doing, going to work, doing all manner of things. He was healthy. He was not sick. Ah, so how can somebody have taken all those things away when the guy is alive? And we know biology. You understand? The guy would not be able to function even without, let us, let's even say, one lung missing. <laughs> but all the lungs were gone. All the, uh, the, heart, the heart was gone. The two kidneys were gone. Everything, ah, the, the liver, ah, uh ah, -huh. This man cannot be telling the truth. And I said, okay. He now told him that stay away from that girl. But that you need to collect your things, your property with her, biological property, stolen spiritually. Why are you looking at me as if I'm a witch? I'm a child of God. Look at my hand. Though. Praise the Lord. <laughs> now, Say you have to collect those things back from her. He now gave him the prayer to pray. You understand? Some psalms, some things, fasting. The guy got up in anger. He said he was going to fight her. <laughs> right? He would disgrace her. He would do this and that. That man said, you are gone already. So if you now want to finally, physically now go, you can go there. Because somebody that has the capacity to remove biology, Without you knowing, you now want to go and fight him in the physical. 
We just remove the hands and the legs, <laughs> and you will not know. Just find yourself on the floor. So he did those things. In fact, for that, my friend, to have done that fasting and the prayer, he took maybe his mother's prayer because he liked food so much. For once in his life, he, <laughs> he decided to fast. Once. So he did it three days. And on the third day, the lady that was cast for like a period of like five days just came and did not enter into the room, stood by the door. She began to look at him. He said, I just pity you. We are thick. She didn't go near him. See? She was not carrying anything on her palm. She was seeing what the guy was not seeing. The guy told me. <laughs> he was seeing what the guy was not seeing. If not that I love you. I think. And she returned and returned what the guy did not know, but she kept returning. And she left, never returned to him again. Every negative covenant that I have entered into. Wait, before you pray, how was she able to do that? They entered into covenant that the guy did not understand. You see all this, uh, it was in the days of uh, this song. You belong to me. I belong to you. It's the end of the road. And I can't let go. Pastor Abuga, you remember? <laughs> this guy, this guy. <laughs> Praise the Lord. <laughs> ah, so he belonged to her. He didn't know. Stand to your feet and shout, Father. Every agreement that I have entered into, every covenant that I have entered into, knowingly or unknowingly, that is limiting my life, limiting your purpose for me. Ah, Father, let it be cancelled today in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody pray that prayer. Somebody pray. 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 Father, forgive, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, Father, let this evil covenant be cancelled out of our life in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be cancelled, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be cancelled, O Lord. Let it be cancelled, O Lord. Let it be cancelled, O Lord. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Somebody say again, Father. Father. Ah, I have come today standing against every evil covenant that I have entered into knowingly or unknowingly. Father, let them be destroyed out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray that prayer, somebody. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Father, let them be destroyed out of my life. Every evil covenant, every negative covenant that I might have, I have entered into, Father, let it be destroyed, O oh Lord. Cancel them out of my life in the mighty name of Jesus. Cancel them, O oh Lord. Cancel them, O oh Lord. Cancel them, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it be cancelled, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. I surrender my life to you today. Father, I surrender my life to you today. Father, against every covenant that is out of you, every covenant outside of your will that I have entered into or that I have been entered into, Father, let me, my name be removed from those covenants in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let my name be removed, O Lord. Let them be removed, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Sit down for a while. Your life is made up of so many covenants. Many of us will not know that you are making covenants every time. Every time. 
will you come to my house tomorrow? Yes, I will come. It's a covenant. You agree to come. If you don't come, if I have the power to punish you, I punish you. But thank God I don't have such useless power. Am I talking to you? You, owe, you to take a loan from somebody. You promise that person, when I receive my salary, I will pay back. Receive your salary. You stop passing that person's door mouth. You know they pass in the street again. That is how you begin to find another new route to your house. Why are they back? You are breaching covenant. Understand? And don't forget, the borrower is a slave to the lender. That is what he that created you said. Now the lender, who is the master of this slave, now choose to take one boti bong boti bong boti bong boti and put it on one rock or one tree and say this person, make you no get peace again. Nikpaka, nikpaka. A master can do anything with his slave. Anything. The Lord will have mercy on us. What is that, that agreement that I have entered into? That is negating your purpose in my life. Father, what is that agreement that I have entered into? That is negating your purpose in my life. Father, I have come to stand against it today. I entered into them when I did not know. As I journey through today, Daddy, let every negative agreement be destroyed. Let every negative covenant be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every negative covenant be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let every negative covenant be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every negative covenant be destroyed in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Sit down. Seven types of covenants. Let's look at some of them. We may not be able to look at all. Oh, we have just ten minutes to go. And we have to take the hymn. The Lord will help us. Now, seven types of covenants. One, between all round equals. The covenant between all round equals. Let me explain to you. Spiritually, we are the same. Physically, we are the same. Financially, we are the same. Emotionally, we are the same. This one, we are the same. Am I talking to you? It is the most, it is the scarcest kind of covenant on earth. You can say it doesn't happen. That is covenant between all round equals. Those who have the same physical strength, the same spiritual uh, strength, the same emotional uh, strength, the same mental strength, the same financial or material strength, it, it can never happen. It is the scarcest kind of covenant. Therefore, if you are entering into a covenant with a friend, you must understand that it is, there are inequalities in between both of you. There are things he has that you cannot have. There are things you have that he doesn't have. There are things he knows that you don't know. There are, yeah. So, if I now enter into that covenant thinking we are equals and we are not, What will happen to me if I am the weak party? That is what is limiting the lives of so many people. A musician recruited people to join his band. They joined his band thinking he will elevate their life. Ah, he's a big star. He said, this is the that. But... He told all of them that he wanted to host them. So they came to his house. And he killed, what is this female of a ram? I've forgotten the name. The female of a ram. Is it you? A way? You. He killed that one. Not a ram. Not a goat. That one. They did not see the body. They saw only the entrails. The entrails is the intestine, the this and that, all this only with powerful rice and all of them ate. Now, what does that animal do? Does it behave like a dog barking? If you want to call an animal a fool, is it not that one that you are going to take as a fool? That was what that man wanted for them. It was a preparation that is beyond 
the physical. What they ate was not, it is what they call a sage. But they thought it was hosting. A lot of us have gone to buy birthday parties like that, thinking it was birthday party, but it was a spiritual feast, an occultic feast that we partook of. And by that, they entered into a lifelong covenant with that musician. He used them until he got tired of them. They were old. What he was spending on them was becoming much. Because when somebody starts working for you now, in five years' time, your salary cannot remain the same. You have to, you know, you understand? The things you have to give him will be increasing. But the kind of time came when he needed, he didn't, did not need, need them anymore. There were younger boys who were ready to work for much less than one quarter of their pay. He had to dislodge all of them and bring in those boys. Those people began to wander around. They were not able to do anything. Why? Because the, all of them could not regroup. Am I, am I talking to you? And without all of them working together, they can never achieve success. And it was not possible for them to regroup. Why? The man that would regroup them had sent them away. They went back begging. The ones he could still use on lower terms, lower pay, that this one, well, let me manage you, come. He was able to take few of them, maybe three. You see the food, they sweet. I mean, the food, no sweet. Stand to your feet. Let's, <laughs> let us round off here. We continue from there by three. The Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Why are you people now feeling disturbed? Eh? Everybody's looking troubled. I'm not the one that cooked the food, the food though. I, I didn't cook. I don't cook any bad food though. Sir, just, I don't know what to tell you. You know the prayer you should pray. Eh? Do you know? You know, Father, remove me from every negative covenant in the mighty name of Jesus. Liberate me, not even remove. Father, liberate me from every negative covenant today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, liberate me today. Ah, Daddy, liberate me today in the mighty name of Jesus. Daddy, liberate me today from every negative covenant in the mighty name of Jesus. Let my release come today in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the, my release come today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, let my release come today. In the mighty name of Jesus. Ah, Father, I have run to your name, Daddy. And your name is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are safe. Father, I have run to your name today. Jesus Christ is my righteousness. Jesus Christ is my righteousness. Jesus Christ is my righteousness. Father, let me be saved from every evil covenant. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, deliver me today in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, deliver me today. Father, deliver me today. Father, deliver me today. Let my liberation come today in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed, Father, as I stand before you today. Somebody say, Father. Aha, Father. As I stand before you today, deliver me. Liberate me today from every negative covenant. In the mighty name of Jesus, somebody pray that prayer. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Somebody pray. Father, liberate me. Liberate me. Liberate my children. Liberate me. Liberate my husband, my wife. In the mighty name of Jesus. Liberate me, O Lord. Liberate me today. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Let's quickly take the hymn because of our time. When we come back, 3 o'clock, we continue from there. The Lord will bless us in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our hymn at this hour is taken from page 4. Take my life and let it be.
circumcision. I worship God in the spirit. I rejoice in Christ Jesus. I have no confidence in the flesh. I am the true circumcision. I am the true circumcision. I worship God in the spirit. I rejoice in Christ Jesus. I have no confidence in the flesh. One, two, go. Hallelujah. 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 And hallelujah. God bless you. Please 